Greetings to you from wherever you are, all over the world. I welcome you once again to my channel. This is Dr. Festus. Uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video and please share the video with your colleagues. Uh, today I want to describe how to assess your LULC classification. That is the land use and land cover classification. The last video I did was on how to classify uh, your satellite images uh, using QGIS. So it's a continuation of that video that I'm doing today. So I'm going to describe how to assess the accuracy of this uh, land use and land cover uh, image that we have already, or map that we have produced the last time. So now you can open up the the land use and land cover image on the QGIS platform, as you can see on my own platform now. So after you've done that, you need to come back here. Uh, yeah, there is a plugin that you must download, which is called HCMGIS. You can see it, HCMGIS plugin. If you're using QGIS for the first time, you may not have this installed in your QGIS. So you need to go back to plugins, manage and stop plugins, and then you can search for this uh, HCMGIS. You can search for it here, HCMGIS. Because I've already installed mine, you can see it's already there. Uh, if you have not installed yours, you can you can then uh, uh, install it. Okay. Now let's come back to HCMGIS. So just click on HCMGIS. Now you go to base maps, base map. So this the base map that we normally use is this Google satellite. All right. We have diff different orders. Uh, in base map, but we use Google Satellite. So just click on Google Satellite. And I must say that you must have an active uh, internet, uh, you know, as access so for you to be able to have this, uh, you know, functional computer. So this is the Google Satellite, as you can see, it's already showing. Immediately I clicked on it, it, it navigated to the location that uh, I am working on. So you can see, now I have to bring up that uh, LUSC map by just dragging this off, all right? So you can see my LUSC map, uh, boundary map or classification map is already showing on this Google satellite. So what I need to do is to uh, be sure that all the classification that I did, the dense forest, the moderate forest, the open land are actually true. You know, to, to what level of accuracy, to what level, of, you know, what is the percentage accuracy? That's what we're trying to, you know, establish here. So to do this, we're going to uh, create a new shape file. So go to uh, uh, layer, okay, then go to create layer, and then select new shape file layer, okay? All right, so this will come up. So you need to give it a name, so navigate to where you want to save the shape file. So I want to shape it, uh, save it as uh, L5 tray. Okay. All right, that's what I'm going to use. So click on save. Then you need to select the geometry type. So click on polygon. All right. After clicking on polygon, then come here and give uh, the field. You, also, you need to name the field that you are, you know, this feed of the feature that you want to create. And the feed will give it MCID. You can give it any, 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 any ID, whatever you want. So select type, okay. Then the type, select a whole number, okay. And then click on add to feed list. So you can see that's come up here. Then the next thing to do is to go down and click okay. Now, I'm going to now, after creating the, the shape file, the next thing to do is now begin to trace these features on the L that we have on the LULC on the Google satellite. All right. So you can see the deep green part actually shows the 
the dense forest. So I need to create features on the Google map that shows the dense forest. So what I will do now is to unselect this, so just unselect this, and then zoom the Google map to where you have the dense forest, okay? And see, so after doing this, you need to click on toggle editing. You can see toggle editing is here, all right? Toggle editing. So click on toggle editing and click on add polygon feature. Add polygon feature. All right, so click on this. So you now drag on top of, just create a polygon on top of the dense forest and right click after you're done. So this will come up, then give it ID one and MCID because we are dealing with the first set of MC, my macro class, which is the dense forest. So just give it one because the dense forest is one. Moderate forest is two, open forest is three. So we're dealing with the dense forest. So you can create, then click okay. Now we can create as many as, as many features as possible on this dense forest, all right. So let us uh, create one more, all right. Then I click, then gives you the fit two ID, the macro class is T1. So click OK. All right, so I'm satisfied with this. You can create as many as, as you uh, want, okay? So you can zoom back and then uh, bring up your AUSC map, all right? So, okay. So next thing, next thing now is to, uh, is to create the second, the second, uh, uh, the second LUSC uh, class, which is the moderate, the moderate forest. Okay, so we now go to, we we'll go back to, you want to select this, or select this again, and just know where you want to pick as your moderate forest. So all right, so on select again, and then zoom out. Okay, or zoom in rather, then you pick, go back to Google editing, make sure you click on it and then go back to Google, I mean, toggle editing rather, it's already on, then click the add polygon feature again and select over, right click, that's ID now is three, but the macro class is now two. All right, so click okay. I want to pick another one again. Okay, that's now four. The macro class is still two. Then click OK. All right. So uh, I need to zoom out now. So I've picked two. The next thing is to select for the uh, the open land, right? The open land, you can see the open land uh, here. All right. Okay. So then I can zoom again and then Go back to the toggle editing, be sure it is highlighted, and then click the add polygon. And then you can select on this. So we have five, and then the macro class I see is three. Click OK. Also here. All right. We have six. Macro class ID is three. And click OK. All right. I think I'm satisfied with all these. So Zoom back again. All right, bring up your, uh, all right, okay. So the next thing to do is to go to the, the shape file on the table of content and right click on it. This is the L L5 track. I click on the shape, on that uh, shape file that we have created and then navigate to, navigate to, um, open attribute table, all right? So you can see on the open attribute table, we have uh, the, the ID one, two, three, four, five, six, the macro class ID one, one, two, two, three, three. Okay, so uh, next thing now, we can close this. Oh, sorry, before we close it, make sure you save the edit. There is an option for save edit here. So click on save edit, 
after you click on save edit then you can close this all right so we are done now the next thing to do is to go to scp menu toolbar scp menu toolbar you can see it on the toolbar scp menu toolbar is always there if it's not there on your own you can go to login and install and install it so you have scp uh, toolbar okay which we use for the classification earlier on in the last video so come back there and then you can click on post processing you can see post processing here then go to accuracy okay click on accuracy then on the accuracy we need to select uh the band that we are we are interested in so it's it's asking you select the classification to assess our classification is the the lulc train that's one we are using so click on it then the reference vector which we have done is the uh the shape file that we created is a reference vector uh file so we need to change it to l5 tra l5 tra is a is the shape file that we have created and is a, is our reference uh reference uh, vector uh that we're going to use so click on it and then change this vector field to mcid right then you click on run then this will come up it's asking us to save to save the uh the 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 um uh, this uh, accuracy into this uh, folder so you can just give it the name l5 track okay all right, then click save. So the QGIS is going to uh, run the accuracy analysis and then bring up the result as soon as it's done. So please, once again, try to subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. This is very, very important so that YouTube can recommend this video for as many, I mean, to as many people as possible. And then please make sure you share the video also. Uh, thank you very much. All right, QGIS has already finished accuracy. Immediately, it's, it's done. It's going to bring up this uh, this uh, particular uh, interface. So you can see uh, under this uh, accuracy accuracy interface, you can all this one are not that important. The most important one is this this third uh, third table. You can actually like uh, highlight it if you if you want to put it on your MS Word like. I like it and then right click and click copy and then you can paste it in your MS Word and put it in the table in your MS Word. All right, so on this table, I'll just show you a few things there. Uh, our overall accuracy is 39.7%, uh, which shows that we need to improve more on the on the AUSC classification. You know, it means that you, need, you can still do it again to get a higher accuracy, you know, depending on whatever you are interested in, okay? so. Uh, we have the producer's accuracy. We have the user's accuracy. You can see for the classes that we have, class one, two, three, which is the dense forest, the moderate forest, and the open, open land. You can see that uh, for the dense forest, the producer accuracy is 71%. The user accuracy is 99.7%. For uh, the moderate forest, Producer accuracy is 32 percent. The user accuracy is 4.9 percent. For the uh, open land, producer accuracy is 12.19 percent. User accuracy is 33.3 percent. So you can see that uh, we have, you know, uh, these are the accuracy percentages or values. Then the kappa coefficient here, you can see, it's almost close to one under the dense forest. This is far less than one in the moderate forest. The open land is also close to uh, one. This is 0.65 uh, uh, value, all right? So this is how to assess your accuracy, uh, accuracy of your land use and land cover uh, classification that you have done using the satellite images obtained from, uh, you know, from uh, Landsat. And then uh, using QGIS, as your software. Thank you very much and I appreciate you for 
watching my video, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Next, I'm going to bring up how to convert this uh, this LULC uh, uh, classification image, you know, to, to uh, I'm how to get the area, the area of land, the areas of land that are covered by each of these uh, classes. Area of land for the forest, area of land for the moderate, area of land in square meters for the open land. That's the next video I'm going to do. Please watch out for my next video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.